Let's start this project. Open your Android Studio and create a new Flutter project. Click in here on the new Flutter project and make sure to select in here Flutter and then select the SDK part. And then next, click on that. Now we will simply give a name to the project, okay? We will name this as a iJob clone app and guys the name must be in small alphabets okay as you guys can see right in here and instead of space you can give the underscore there we go okay let's go further and click finish close this in here close that readme ok so our Flutter project has been created successfully now first we will go towards the postpack.yaml we will add some dependencies first close that man dot dot and go to the postpack.yaml right in here now we will go down right below this Cupertino icons we will add some dependencies ok step by step open your browser and search for fob.dev open that first one ok fob.dev so in here first we will search for catch network image ok as you guys can see right in here just write this catch network image okay press enter so we will add that one that first one okay flutter library to load and catch network images okay so we will simply use that for that purpose okay so click on that go to the installing and in here we will simply copy that dependency okay copy that go back to the android studio and write in here below this cupertino icon paste it ok there we go now we will go back now this time we will search for image picker ok just to simply pick the image ok as you guys can see right in here filter plugin for selecting images from the android and ios image library and taking new picture with the camera so for that purpose we will use that simply go to the image picker and go to the installing and in here copy that go back to the android studio below this cache network image paste it ok let's go back so we will add it one by one now this time we will search for image cropper just to simply crop the image ok for cropping images go to installing image cropper copy that go back right in here paste it again we will go back this time gonna search for the flutter icon It will simply customize our icons okay you can also read that so you guys will get the idea Flutter icons from popular web icons fonts okay customize your final icon so let's go and copy the dependency there we go go back in here paste it again you will go back now we will search for url launcher we can need this on our project so it will simply launch the url okay 
and you guys can see right in here you can read that it will simply support web phone sms and email schemes so let's go and copy the dependencies okay go back to render studio in here as usual paste it and it must be in a proper alignment as you guys can see right in here let's go back now you will search for curve navigation bar okay this will simply adjust the color background color animation curve animation duration for the navigation bar okay so let's go and and you guys can also see it right in here okay implementation of a curve navigation bar so we're gonna add the dependencies there we go go back right in here past it okay the proper alignment again search for UUID and in here and basically this is just a UUID generator okay you can read that now simply we will go and install the UID so get that dependencies UID and go back to the Android Studio. Edit right in here. Again, we will go back. Now simply search for filter toast. This will simply create our toast messages right in the single line of code. Okay, you guys can see right in here so let's go and add that in here past it down below go back to the public tab gonna search for the firebase auth firebase authentication okay it's just a plugin for the firebase auth okay this will simply enable the android and ios authentication using password phone number identity extract file as you guys can see right in here so simply go and install the dependencies there we go go back right in here past it pop dot tab go back in here gonna search for the firebase core it's a plugin for the firebase code it will simply enable and connect it to a multiple firebase app okay so install that go back to the android studio in here past it again we will go back this time I'm gonna search for the cloud fire store okay So we will install the plugin for the cloud fire store you can read that you will get the idea so now simply you will go and install the dependencies there we go right in here past it now the last one we will add for the storage firebase storage okay so let's go and do that in here simply we will search for firebase storage as you guys can see right in here it's a plugin for the firebase cloud storage okay you can read that go and we will simply install dependencies okay so Go back to render studio and down in here past it so we are done with all of the dependencies okay you guys can see right in here 
So now simply you will click on that pop get. You will import it. So there we go. It's done. Okay. So that's it for this video. Right in the next video, we will work further right from here.